welcome back. Uh, we're going to be in conversation with Sampat Reddy, our market guru, today in just a moment. Just also to mention, however, that the Bank of Japan has maintained a stimulus. That's the latest coming in from there. And we'll uh, just pull up uh, the Nikkei for you as well and see if there's any instant reaction. That's the dollar to yen uh, at the moment and how that's trading. We've got the Nikkei maintaining uh, its uh, downward uh, trend, pretty much uh, flat today and hasn't reacted too much yet to that news. All right, joining us on the show today is Sampat Reddy, our Chief Investment Officer at Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance. Sampat, thanks so much for being with us. Markets have now started to see a slight change in trends, Sampat. Do you see this as a real reversal or do you see this as an interim uh, a bounce uh, perhaps on the back of uh, global queues? No, I think uh, markets have had seen a significant correction in the last uh, three to four months. Most of it is led by the uh, global related issues, especially, you know, uh, significant slowdown in countries like such as China and, you know, uh, a significant fall in the commodity prices, you know, thereby leading it to the collapse of some of the commodity stocks in the Indian uh, markets as well. So overall, most of the correction which has led in the in the Indian stock market is to do with the global related issues. I think large part of that is done. And uh, given that, you know, I mean, uh, since uh, you know we as a country have got uh, you know, a lot more uh, domestic demand, domestic led growth uh, uh, opportunities and you know domestic led growth uh, companies here i think you know we do not we may not see further fall in the current uh, you know, from the current level overall uh, in our uh, equity market prices if you see uh, especially the most of the fall was actually in the last uh, 2 3 months in the correction was led by the commodity stocks such as you know aluminum and steel prices and you know some of the even oil companies like ongc etc have also fallen quite a bit. So most of the fall was actually led by the commodity stocks and if you see uh, in the last couple of months, you know, in the same period which you were mentioning, you know, some of the comp companies which are largely linked to the domestic economy such as car manufacturers and, uh, in the, and, in, and, and also consumer companies, they, they continue to do well. What's the mood like for domestic fund flows, Sampath? Because uh, lately we started to see money uh, or flows pick up uh, once again with regards to foreign funds. Uh, domestic flows, while they have been steady, do you see the, the money now coming back in or petering out? How are those uh, trends looking to you at the moment? Yes, I think you know with the I mean, uh, you know really you know, domestic uh, fund flows continue have been really really been supportive for the entire in this entire uh, period where you know FIs were been withdrawing the funds, especially the mutual fund investors have seen a good inflows. You know, I mean, this, we we hope that you know insurance also will join the bandwagon very soon because you know in the ULIPS, you know still overall in the insurance side you know net net maybe a marginal buyer across the industry wide look if you take it, but you know insurance have not been a, a significant uh, addition into the domestic fund flows yet. I think, you know, that is yet to pick up and once that uh, starts showing, you know, you will see a good growth coming, uh, good uh, flows coming from the both the side of the domestic institution, which is mutual fund and as well as insurance companies. But, you know, from the, uh, you know, valuation perspective, yes, you know, if you look at, you know, overall in the last one year, market returns have been pretty much muted, whereas most of the commodity uh, prices such as, you know, oil and metals, etc. have come down quite dramatically. So, you have seen a good growth, uh, you, you know, you would see a good improvement in the margins, uh, you know, across the board uh, in spite of earnings growth not being that supportive so far in the last few quarters but i think you know uh, you know we would see that you know overall the demand pickup uh, you know getting uh, you know uh, accelerated very soon with the interest rate reduction by the rbi in the last week uh, overall i think you know you would see the growth coming back very soon i think you know invest this is a good time to the investors to you know buy into this correction actually how critical is uh politics and all of this, but how closely are you watching the Bihar elections, uh, for instance, uh, you know, in terms of reaffirming the government's uh, a majority, the government's ability to push through reforms? I think uh, the political mandate is not really that critical, you know, I mean, yes, you know, if the, if the, you know, if the, if, if the Bihar elections were to be, you know, won by the BJP, I think you could see some more, you know, majority in the Rajya Sabha also improving, but I don't think so that as a real, uh, you know, as a hindrance, you know, overall, you know, if you see, you know, in the previous government in the last 10 years also, overall or 15 years, you know, we have not seen a government which are, you know, such a strong kind of a mandate. So in spite of that, we have all done very well and grown very well. So that's not 
not really a, a hindrance i would put it but uh, you know overall what is you know we should be looking forward is you know when with the with the stimulus provided by the you know the rbi governor you know i mean that percolating down into the capital spending you know and that will be the key driver in terms of the markets yes you know those will elections will come and go i don't think so it will be a such a critical event uh, uh, for the you know overall economy to get start uh, you know showing good growth right so what are some of the themes that you prefer given that uh, we're heading into earnings as well they're right around the corner now what are you eyeing right i think you know in the very near term we are not seeing any significant upside uh, you know especially the quarter to numbers are also not going to be uh, anything uh, you know uh, uh, throughout any positive surprises you know especially the demand uh, is yet to show any signs of improvement you know most of the places across you know the automobiles and consumer space uh, and also you know in 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 the capital good side you know in terms of investment spending is yet to kick, get kick started so based on that you know quarter to numbers also you may not see much of a growth uh, or a positive surprise price but as i said like you know most of the growth is likely to you know uh, show up you know the current reduction in the interest rates to you know get percolated down into the capital spending and the demand uh, you know re uh, demand led recovery you know that would i think you know be you know two to three quarters away i think you know from that perspective uh, you know it's a good time to you know uh, slowly investors who get started you know get deploy the uh, deploy the funds Tech will be the first to report on earnings uh, some per in fee and TCS next week with revenue warnings coming in from the likes of HCL Tech already. Uh, what's your outlook? We've seen a slight cool off given what we've been uh, looking at in terms of the currency as well just in the last week 10 days. Uh, what are you expecting this time around? I think IT as a sector will continue to do well overall within the uh, you know within the Indian uh, I would say you know uh, the sector's perspective, uh, especially led by the currency gains, and I think that will show up in this current quarters. So I think uh, uh, overall numbers would be positive. I think you know there will be some small uh, you know I mean there will be instances where you know some of the companies might find uh, some sort of a, you know the uh, like you know the, like you have seen in the case of HCL Tech, you know there could be issues, company specific issues, one or two clients scaling back and etc. those kind of things can happen but overall it as a sector will show a good earnings growth in this quarter mainly led by the both you know some some some, some by the volume growth and some by the uh, uh, you know the currency led gains overall i think uh, sector will continue to post very good growth i mean given that you know most of the other uh, sectors are not uh, you know likely to show any meaningful growth in this quarter i think in that perspective it stands out as a growth sector for this quarter What about banking? NPA troubles continue to be in focus. Uh, Discom distress has also been adding pressure. Um, is the valuation or other valuations for PSBs at the moment uh, attractive, or do you still feel uh, the risk uh, reward ratio is uh, not really looking that feasible? I think in the banking space, you know, overall credit growth is yet, uh, you know, yet to you know pick up in a good speed. You know, today at about 9.5 percent credit growth, uh, you know, I think that is not a good enough growth, uh, especially for the uh, you know the public uh, public sector banks. Public sector banks will only do well if there is a good growth happening in the credit space. You know, like if the credit growth is in excess of 15 percent, I think you know during that period uh, uh, only I would think you know public sector banks will also you know start doing well. in a low credit growth environment most of the growth will be taken away by the private uh, private sector bank so in that backdrop i think you know for the next couple of quarters or more you know i think private sector banks only will uh, you know will continue to do deliver much better earning earnings growth so i think um, uh, you know those public sector banks will be a mere more of a short term kind of a trading opportunity you know given that they are trading at a very low valuations you know they might bounce back for some period etc but otherwise unless you see a sustained uh, very strong robust credit growth you know you i mean you you will be better off in uh, in the uh, in the in the private sector banks what about auto as well sampath again in focus uh, with the uh, slash in rates uh, do you think also a good bet when recovery sets in for the economy and when we start to see demand picking up 
Yes, I think you know autos will be one of the primary uh, beneficiaries of the recovery in the economy, domestic economy. I think uh, you know the uh, overall, if you look at you know the com you know MHCVs are already started doing very well. Most of it could be you know because of the base effect. MHCV as a segment continues to do well in terms of volume growth wise. I think we are watching for the you know two wheeler sector to you know uh, pick up. You know two wheeler continues to be languish. Most of this is linked to the rural uh, uh, rural demand growth. You know rural demand growth you know, has been sluggish because of the you know rel relatively poor monsoons you know this time i think uh, that is uh, still uh, going to uh, take some more time in terms of uh, you know the recovery in the two wheeler uh, side and uh, but you know the uh, uh, overall you know within the uh, automobile space yes i think that will be the uh, oem is the one of the key, uh, key oems are one of the you know within the oems mscvs continues to do well and you know we are watching for the you know I mean two wheeler sector also to pick up probably you know some of the uh, 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 you know, in uh, stimulus given by the you know the the pay commission could also add to the demand boost. I think you know OEMs uh, such will be a better place. Power and capital goods. Uh, what would the investment thesis uh, there be? Uh, we're still seeing a lot of heavily leveraged uh, companies. Power has its own set of issues, and we're really seeing some of those uh, counters struggle. Even with a long-term perspective, do they make an investment fit right now? Power and capital goods still, I think, you know, not really much. Uh, you know, capital spending is not yet uh, anywhere, you know, uh, any showing any signs of a revival. And uh, most of the space, if you look at it, especially, you know, significant in the past, if you see significant part of the capital spending by the uh, by the uh, corporate sector was actually from the commodities. You know, the commodities continues to be, you know, in the, uh, you know, facing a huge uh, price uh, pressures, especially the aluminum steel sectors. You know, they have, uh, you know, they are not they are not in a position to you know uh, invest any uh, any more for uh, you know for their capacities at this point of time already balance sheets are stretched so in terms of you know capital goods i don't think so the demand uh, recovery is anywhere uh, in the in the near in the in the near term vicinity so they are slightly far off i think power also you know because of its uh, you know its own problems such as uh, you know the lack of uh, so, you know coal and you know people bidding at a uh, coal project for the coal mines at a much higher prices you know because of these issues we don't see a power sector also uh, to see any quick uh, upsides from the you know in the very near term so i think both the sectors will be you know uh, will see uh, will 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 take some more time to show any revival uh, there but within the uh, capital goods some of the you know sectors such as you know road construction you know they they are doing pretty good in urban infrastructure you know the government is spending you know good amount of government is kick starting you know good amount of projects there i think that will uh, show good opportunities you know we have seen uh, you know just a couple of days back uh, the uh, urban uh, uh, Mumbai Metro 3 project uh, bits being unveiled so you know, those are the things which are you know this some of these activities are you know showing good signs of uh, you know order inflows I think the road sectors probably will continue to do better and urban infrastructure will continue to do better but uh, the power and capital equipment I think will be some time away for the earnings growth to come there. Sampath if I had a windfall gain of 100 crores so where would I put it? <laughs> I think you know the uh, at this point of time we would still go by the consumption led uh, you know the story I mean consumption led investment uh, strategy I think most of it could be in the consumers pharmaceutical and you know IT related exports you know these are the sectors which will continue to do well manufacturing exports are also facing a little bit of headwinds you know because the poor uh, you know the global growth I think you know it ex exports in should be more of a technology led export such as you know pharmaceuticals and IT the, the, they are fine or you know domestic consumption led uh, uh, industries are the ones which continues to do well and the private sector banks these are the th these are the themes i would think you know will continue to do well all right thank you sir but if only i did have that 100 crores <laughs> that advice would be very useful you. but uh, great to get your uh, strategy going ahead um, let's also take a quick check on the SGX right now and how it's doing. We've got um, a very uh, flat start predicted as of now. Remember, Global Q is also cooling off ever so slightly. And uh, we've seen about five sessions of gains. So uh, we are watching out for 8200, but at this point, uh, things are looking a little quiet uh, on opening. We've also been tracking those uh, IMF comments uh, on global growth, uh, sounding uh, concerns once again on the entire picture.